Okay, so this KitchenAid toaster has a broken center element and we're going to take this apart. Next time you see it, we'll be looking at it from the bottom with uh, the case off and the bottom off and, and hopefully we'll have a good access to the element. So stay tuned. We've uh, spent a little time taking it apart and we needed to get to the bottom of the elements and so we've removed the elements from the, from the bottom of the toaster which is kind of a tedious operation. We may or may not be able to get it back together. Uh, but much of this is an experiment. One of the things that's really hard to repair is nichrome wire. So the wire that runs across the toaster that heats up when you put electricity on it is, is made out of nichrome and when they break it's hard to put it back together. Um, so I've tried once, kind of a failed experiment, and this, uh, what I'm going to do is clean that connection there up, and then I'm going to try to put a, put a patch on there made out of still more nichrome wire and um, borax to act as a flux. So um, next time you see me, that should be cleaned up, and I may even have a patch in place, but um, no sense watching me carefully <laughs> try to clear away the results of my past effort here. So um, we'll see you uh, in a little while. Now let's see if we can get this thing hooked up. Okay, we're going to resume the experiment now. The um, see if we can weld this uh, toaster element together. That's not a pretty patch. I'm sure over time we can come up with some. All the engineers we have involved, we can come up with some real pretty uh, designs that'll work better and look better and all that. But will this weld itself or will fall apart? So. We don't know. We're going to find out. So, hopefully, this compound is wet enough to encase the reaction and restrict the. I think it's supposed to restrict the air that's getting to it so it doesn't burn. Oh, going to plug it in, and then we're going to turn it on.
So, that was pretty unspectacular. We did see a little bit of, uh, a little bit of glow there. This whole thing is, is hot enough to make smoke. Um, We'll light it up again and see what happens. And this time we'll do it in the dark. Hey Google, turn off the studio. Ah, it's getting plenty hot. And it looks like it's heating up behind the patch. It's, uh... Oh, what you couldn't see was there's a little bit of smoke coming out of there. There you go. One more time.
we can see that the elements are heating up. It looks like there's a lot going on under there in terms of <coughs> brightness. But we'll find out when we break that uh, shell away. The borax does expand, the paste does expand when it's heated. It turns into some sort of glass, I think. Not sure. sure is that this guy got hot so we're gonna we're gonna let it cool off and then we'll see what we ended up with here as far as the patch is concerned Just let it cool off for a little while, and we'll come back. All right, so what we can see is that there's a patch. There's the old film, the old element, and this patch was kind of wrapped around and kind of held mechanically, but um, it's not jiggling around at all. Seems like it's attached to something, much better than it was. Uh, we got some of that borax mixture under the, the tab that holds the elements down. And so when it expanded, it actually broke the tab. So a lesson learned is only get that stuff where expansion isn't going uh, to create an issue for you. So just going to turn it on now one more time and see what it looks like lit up naked. Uh, give us just a minute here, and it will come on. Right. And so that bubbling you see is I use some water to clean off the borax. Right, let's see what the patch looks like. There it is. So the patch is definitely heating up. It might actually make a might make a hot spot. 
<clears throat> and the toast, a little brown spot. We'll find out when we put it back together. But it is attached and staying attached and you know, kind of welded itself. So it may be that I need to use a thicker gauge micro wire for that particular repair so that it doesn't heat up as much as this is. Uh, I used what I had on hand. I scavenged it from another toaster. But the patch looks like it's holding. Interesting. I'd say that the use of borax as a flux and the process of having nichrome wire weld itself together Seems like it deserves further exploration. Uh, a little more uh, engineering on what the patch looks like and how you apply the patch deep inside a toaster so you don't have to take it apart like I had to take this one apart. Uh, so a little more refinement in that respect. Uh, a little more science towards being able to see and being able to apply the paste and we might be able to save some more toasters. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, we repaired the element on this toaster and put it back together. And it's time to see if it makes toast. I'll put it down just a little bit more. Let's take a look. So, on this side, kind of both toasted to the top. This side, it's more done on the inside, almost like it's set to the bagel setting. Uh, but I don't see a big brown spot. And that's what I was, I don't see a big brown spot here. That's what I was really worried about. So, interesting, the outside of the toaster, kind of toasted like that. And the inside of the toaster, which we repaired, and this was right, the, the spot was dead center, and I don't see a, a big brown spot. So I'd call that a successful repair. Uh, the only other thing I want to do is try it on bagels, and I won't make you sit through that. I'm going to call this done unless you hear otherwise. Have a good day. I'll see you next time.